Right. There is a statement in the Quran that tells us a person who recites the Quran fluently will get a reward. But the one who recites it not fluently will not get a double as good uh, one as the one who reads Quran fluently. Is the question clear? So how did you say that the one who does not know how to read Quran fluently after being Muslim for years, that he is a bad Muslim? And this is, this is a statement not in the Quran, Allah yahdikum. This is a statement in the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, when he said, المؤمن الذي يقرأ القرآن كالماهر والماهر به مع السفرة الكرام البررة والمسلم الذي يقرأ القرآن وهي تعتع تعه به وهو عليه شاق فله أجران. The one who reads it fluently, he is with the angels, and the one who reads it and struggles, struggles, makes mistakes, then he will have two types, two rewards. So how come we said a bad Muslim? Any answer? First of all, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was talking about the reward. He did not say that he is a good Muslim or a bad Muslim. صح? So there is no contradiction. You might be a bad Muslim and still getting reward. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. A bad Muslim doesn't mean that you don't get reward. Agree? And moreover, the point the brother mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ did not say, yes, and don't improve yourself. Khalas. You just accepted that what? Uh, I'm struggling with the Quran. Just accept it. No. He said you need to improve. Okay? Generally speaking. Yes. So until you are able to do so, is it clear? Then you are getting two rewards. And you need to keep trying. It doesn't mean that you stop there. Moreover, my dear respected brothers and sisters, uh, like one brother uh, yesterday came to me and he said, are we obliged to read Quran properly? I said, of course, yes. He said, where, how? I said, what does it mean? He said, yeah, but the sins are, and you cannot say that a bad Muslim. I said, no, we can easily say a bad Muslim, and I am insisting on this. And I am insisting, and I am insisting. I cannot imagine a good Muslim, yeah? He knows everything, and, but he doesn't know anything about Quran. When he reads, he struggles. Now, forget about bad or good. Is there any excuse? Let us be honest. Let us be honest. Yeah? Come on. Come on. Put an effort, you will see the result. But you neglect the Quran, and then you say, why do you call me bad Muslim? You are a bad Muslim. Subhanallah al -Azim. You neglect the Quran, and you want to be, mashallah, good Muslim. The words of Allah, the words of wisdom, the words of ibadah, the best word, the best of his speech, Allah revealed. And you neglect it. You don't read it every day. You don't know how to read it. And yeah, I am a good Muslim. Subhanallah al -Azim. And see, uh, Imam Ahmed once gave an answer to the person who does not pray with her. Praying with her is wajib or not wajib? Huh? It's not wajib. Praying with her. It's not compulsory. They said to him, what do you think of a person who does not pray with her? He said, he is rajulusu. Rajulusu means evil person. Not just bad, evil. Why? Because it is cannot, it cannot be imagined that Allah gives this much reward and it is an easy thing to do and you don't want it. Are you following? You don't want it means you neglected the reward. You are not putting attention to the reward. You are not putting attention to your akhirah. 
Yeah? And I, I don't want to be nice and, yeah, there are some non-Muslims, uh, there are some reverts who uh, they are struggling with the Quran. We are not talking about the stage when you learn. The child, when he starts learning Quran, he struggles. Agree? So we are not saying that he's bad because he's excused. But if he continues like this, he's bad. Same thing with reverts. Reverts, can you raise your hands? Yeah? Reverts, no excuse. No excuse, I'm telling you. Don't be under this illusion that oh, we are reverts, we cannot read Quran, it's difficult for us. This young person, how long have you been Muslim? Four years. Yeah? Wallahi, as I told you, he recited Quran yesterday better than the two Arabs with him. Yeah? Are you a proper revert? Both parents were not Muslims? Yes. So don't just use this as an, an, uh, uh, a justification as, or as an excuse. This is Quran. In fact, revert people should be more keen to read Quran. Because from my experience, when they start having doubts about Islam, as I said yesterday, and all these problems, because they do not establish strong relationship with the light of Allah through the Quran.